Hey there everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about a situation that I faced with my iPhone which is here I just updated my iPhone to the latest iOS developer beta 4 and after the update got successfully installed this is what it is happening with my phone when I'm trying to move on further from my welcoming screen which is like this here you can see all those welcoming messages and as I go up the phone turned black and I can't do anything okay even no notification bar nothing is happening so let's try to fix this okay so first thing what I'm gonna do is I will try to restart it so let me press this side button and the top button probably which is like top volume button and now I will try to restart it and I hope that this should be able to fix this problem and another thing that you need to do is you do not need to be panic do you see am I panicking <laughs> okay I don't know now again I'm gonna turn it on okay so again it says hello and as I swipe it up it is asking me to enter my password and I'm gonna enter my password it says software update complete your iPhone has been updated to iOS 26 let's click on continue now it is asking me to choose Wi-Fi network it will choose automatically and it have chosen now I need to click on continue okay so this is the last step that you know I am able to do and again it is trying to you know scan my face as you can see it here now again um, let me go up Again, it is asking for the passcode and I gave passcode and again it turned black. Okay, so what could be other potential solution? And one solution that I found is we need to press this volume up button and then we need to press volume down button and then we need to press this button. Okay, this is iPhone uh, 16. So let me press volume up, volume down and then I'm going to press this power button. And then I need to keep on holding power button till it goes black. So let's let's see how it goes. And it turned it off and now I'm gonna release it. Okay, I hope that this will fix my issue. And I do not need to worry about it anymore. Okay, again, similar kind of. So let me try to enter my password here. Again, it says software update completed. Continue. Again, it choose my Wi-Fi. Maybe this time I'm gonna choose another Wi-Fi. It will go further. Now seems like I need to enter my password. And this time I have connected with a different Wi-Fi. And again, I am in same screen. Let me again go up and i'm gonna show my face and still uh it is kind of struck in the same screen so what could be the solution for this let's try something else okay so the next thing what i'm gonna try is i am going to boot it into recovery mode which is again i would say is pretty similar you need to press volume up button then you need to press volume down button and then you need to hit the side button and then the phone again will turn black and then uh, at the same time you also should put the charger inside and probably I also need to connect it to my Mac computer so let me do that okay so here I am in my Mac OS setup and let me now connect this wire which is connected to my Mac mini and now uh, here it shows charger connected now let me press these both button up and down and now this power button now I will keep it holding like this and then this now turned off now I will keep on holding it until I see the option of cable and there we go so here I see the option of cable now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna keep it like this and I will show you my Apple screen and there we go 
it says that there's a problem with your iPhone that require to be updated. So I'm going to hit here update. Now it says that if your iPhone can't be updated, you will need to restore it to factory setting. Okay. So let me hit here update. Now it says that this update also include the following enhancement and all. So let me click on next and click on I agree. And here it is downloading the iPhone software update. And here in my computer screen, the update is about to get downloaded. And I also am sharing what is happening with my iPhone. So iPhone screen says nothing. And here on Macintosh, it is extracting the software. And now preparing for software update. I am hoping that this new version do not cause this issue because currently it have iOS 26 installed and the version we are trying to install is 18. So in a way we are downgrading it. So let's see, maybe it will work. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, since this is recent model, so probably it should work. Okay. It says that the iPhone cannot be updated and uh, no error occurred. So let me click OK. So the next time I hit restore instead of update and let's see how it goes. And finally here it says your phone has been restored to the factory setting and is restarting. Leave your iPhone connected. And I don't know if my data is there or not. What I did is I already copied the data despite I was not able to access my iPhone. But when I plugged it into computer, I was able to access the media drive and was able to copy all my photos. So probably now the software might have downgraded back to iOS 18. And there we go. It says that iPhone logged to owner and then the location of this is following. And probably now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to swipe it up. And now I am going to choose the language. So the language and region is selected. Now appearance. I'm going to keep it default. Now it says that quickly set up iPhone. So I'm going to bring my iPad nearby to this. Okay. So finally, after going through all these process, I again decided to go with iOS 26 developer beta four. And finally here I have installed it. So let me again, uh, and here you can see it says iOS 26. So it was quite a journey, but the main thing here is we need to secure our data. So whenever you see that kind of black screen, connect it to your computer, get your data backed up. In this way, you will able to fix your phone issue. Hope you find this video helpful and informational. Do like and subscribe to this channel for more such tech insights and I will see you around.